Honourable colleagues, it's with delight, affection and gratitude that I rise today in the Senate of Canada to honour and pay tribute to my colleague, my dear friend, accomplished and innovative community development leader, creative ed educator and all-round good guy, Gord Cunningham, on the occasion of his retirement today from his role as Executive Director of the Cody International Institute. Gord Cunningham has had a career and a life of many accomplishments, be it his role with the Wabagoon First Nation helping to establish their successful wild rice export company, with Calmeadows First Peoples Fund, with Calmeadow Nova Scotia, and then the past 25 years with the Cody International Institute, where he has had pioneering roles in the areas of microfinance, asset-based citizen-led development, and community economic analysis. He co-edited a very influential book with Dr. Allison Mathie entitled From Clients to Citizens, Communities Changing the Course of Their Own Development. Gord has worked locally in Nova Scotia, across Canada, with First Nations, Métis, and Inuit communities, and he's worked in Colombia, Ecuador, Egypt, Ethiopia, Haiti, India, Indonesia, Kenya, South Africa, the Philippines, Thailand, Vietnam, and the U.S. As he retires from the Cody International Institute, he leaves a powerful network of 10,000 community leader alumni in 130 countries around the world, all working locally to make the world a better place. Honorable colleagues, I was Gord Cunningham's boss for almost 25 years at Calmetto in Toronto and then at Cody. Together, we both loved to work with people to make things happen. Colleagues, Gord Cunningham would give you the shirt off his back, and in my case, he actually did. He's humble, generous to a fault, loyal, dedicated, extremely well-informed, a lot of fun, and honestly, one of the most intelligent people I have ever met. Colleagues, one of my favorite Gordisms is, and I quote, we are surrounded by insurmountable opportunities. This outlook is how Gord works, leads, plays, and inspires. In closing, I want to wish Gord Cunningham a happy and healthy retirement, exploring and enjoying those many opportunities awaiting you, Marilyn, Marshall, Oliver, and Aylin, in your next chapter. Gord, the world is a much better place for you being in it, and I know I join thousands of people across Canada and around the world in thanking you for your professional contributions and the gift of your friendship. Honourable Senators, please join me in applauding this remarkable Canadian leader, Gord Cunningham. Thank you.